Yo, what's up, buddy? It's boy Jed here, and Spider-Man 2 is one of Sony's biggest PS5 releases, as well as one of their most popular releases, and for good reason, being the much-anticipated sequel to one of their biggest PS4 releases, and in March, the game got the much-anticipated new Game Plus update that added tons of new content and features to the game, and that's exactly what we're here to talk about today. Let's talk about it, shall we? When Spider-Man 2 released in October of 2023, one of the aspects it was criticized for was not having New Game Plus, and so naturally, as the name implies, the New Game Plus update adds that to the game, but it also adds tons of other things that the game was criticized for, like the ability to change the time of day as well as a bunch of other changes, such as the ability to change your symbiote tendrils, which can be really funny in some cases, like using one of the black suits with the anti-venom tendrils looks kinda goofy, I can't lie. It also added the ability to highlight things, such as the enemies or the caches, which is very helpful because they can sometimes blend into the background, especially in the darker environments. So having a way to make them glow so they can be a lot clearer off the bat works well. But I especially love this for the rare tech caches because they are necessary for getting the suit tech fusions, where you can now have both of the suit techs equipped at once and make use of both abilities, whereas before you would only have one. And it can be very handy, but you will need to collect them as you need to build them properly if you don't have the other equipped. You'll also need not just the rare tech parts, but also the hero and city tokens as well to unlock some of them. Same goes for the golden gadgets, which do nothing but just make the gadgets gold. Aside from the uselessness of the golden gadgets, they, alongside everything else, bring to light an aspect I really like, because this update really encourages you to also do the side content so you can get the hero and city tokens that you'll need to unlock the suit tech fusion as well as the extra EXP that you'll need to unlock one of the big things the new game plus they added, that being the ultimate levels. For anyone who doesn't know, ultimate levels are any level you gain past level 60, and those will translate into ultimate levels, which max out a level 9, and from level 2 through 9, you get new suit skins for both the black suit as well as the anti-venom suit, and they look really cool. You've got your typical ones like the black suits having anti-venom themed skins and vice versa with anti-venom have one very reminiscent of Venom, or the symbiote suit having one that really reminds me of Carnage, which is probably my favorite one out of all of them, it's pretty damn cool. My only issue with this is the amount of the, uh, XP needed is fucking ridiculous. And it's fucking obnoxious because you need 40k per level. Mind you, the highest amount of XP you can get is 2k from doing story missions and certain side quests, so you'll need to do 100% playthrough to even get enough XP to level up your ultimate level. But the highest level you can get for doing a 100% playthrough is ultimate level 6 or 7. Sincerely, someone who did it again. After that, all that's left is just swing around doing tricks and doing random crimes that pop up, because replaying missions, another new thing added in this update, doesn't net you any EXP. So your only option is literally just the crimes, but that takes fucking forever, because God knows when those are gonna pop up. The only way I was able to get the remaining levels in a timely manner was by doing an EXP glitch, where you have to get Peter stuck on a crane while doing tricks, and then whips it every 4 seconds, and I had to do that for like 15 minutes. Now it is possible to get max level off rip because extra XP you have carries over, but in order to get enough EXP to have that happen, you need to swing around the entire time and do crimes for literal hours. And if you were able to do that, please go wash your ass. You fucking reek of iguana piss, dog. I am begging you for your own health. Go shower. But if you're a normal human being and you don't want to know life this game and get these suits in a decent time frame, your only two options are either Peter Backshots or do another New Game Plus playthrough. And you're probably gonna have to near 100% the game a third time, too. Insomniac, what the fuck were y'all thinking, bro? This shit is not okay. Speaking of shit that isn't okay, this DLC added four new suits. Two of them being the flying fresh suits for Peter and Miles, which are so fucking ugly. They're doing way too much with those suits, there's too much going on. Miles looks like a wannabe b-boy from the 80s and Peter looks like a damn hippie from the 70s. This is the story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down as suits, bro. Now, I don't have these suits myself because A, I have to pay for them and I refuse to pay 5 bucks for these god awful suits. And that's $5 I can like spend on like 5 iced teas, like a big ass bag of chips that I would actually enjoy. And B, this is the big one. We're getting them for free at a later date, so spending money on them would be legitimately pointless if we're getting them added later. 
Thankfully, we also got some really good suits added, as they added the Hellfire Gala suits for Peter and Miles, and they look gorgeous. They look like they were straight from the comics. I love it. My only issue is with Miles' Hellfire Gala suit, because I don't like it as much as Peter's. But frankly, I think that's because of the hair. I hate Miles' cut in this game. I'm so sick of that it was funky fucking Killmonger cut. Insomniac, please, I beg, I'm on my knees pleading with you. Give this man Miles his short hair back. Give this man a low taper fade. Hell, give this man the nappy ass Spider Verse fro, bro. I don't even joke. Look at that fro, Doc Miles, man. What are you doing? Wash your hair, man. Probably got hella dandruff in that bitch. Still be better than the fucking funky ass cut he got in this game. Anyways, Miles' Voodoo Strand Killmonger cut aside. Playing this game again with the new game plus update and on ultimate difficulty was a lot of fun for the time. Ultimate difficulty was especially entertaining because it made the period time way faster. So it took a lot of time to get used to it. Now, for most of my playthrough, I said fuck period and just dodged anything that I could. And genuinely, if it wasn't for the fact that you can change the period time to make it easier, I never would have been in this update. Especially the final boss against Venom. That man was beating my ass. I also love being able to change my suits and cutscenes and mix and match them because it looks sick and it's such a fun detail. However, not all cutscenes are made equal. For example, the cutscene where Peter rips off the symbiote looks fucking goofy if you play with the black suit on because it looks like he just ripped off the gooey part. And it looks especially ridiculous with the symbiote suit on because it looks like nothing fucking changed. <laughs> Aside from that ridiculousness, I love it. It gives these missions so much replayability just off that alone because of how cool and fun it is to mix and match the suits and see what happens. However, replaying this game again did bring to light a lot of the flaws of this game, more so than before that I either never really thought about or made ones that I did have worse, both gameplay-wise and story-wise. I'm not going to touch the story ones since I already spoke on most of those in my first video, so if you want to know most of my issues with the story, just go watch that one after you're done here. Gameplay-wise though, there are many ways this game feels like an upgrade with the game like web swing and the addition of the web wings, the symbiote gameplay, and the absolute seamlessness of switching between the two Spider-Men. And new moves, however, there are tons of ways it feels like a massive downgrade, like the side content, which are now all combat based with the exceptions of Fine Grandpa, the, Pro the Prowler Caches, and Howard, which still makes me sad at the end despite knowing what will happen. Hello, hi, quick little editor's note. I kind of forgot about a select few side content in this game, namely the photos you take for Robbie, the Brooklyn Visions quests, as they're mostly puzzles and they're kind of forgettable, honestly, and the, uh, the, the, the parts where you fly around following the drones, I forget what they're called, but those as well, I completely forgot those existed, but you don't get those until near the very end of the fucking game. So, like, I, f I feel like, for the purpose of this, we can kind of ignore those, kind of, yeah, we'll, you want to count them, we can count them, I, because they do count as side content, regardless, I forgot them, these three I forgot, I forgot the photos, I forgot about the, 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 the boring ass Brooklyn Vision puzzles, and I, I forgot about the drone following, I did, for, I did forget about those, but point, point blank period, they most of this a majority of the side content in this game is combat still but i do i do want to make that little correction so yeah bye back to the video <laughs> i'm sorry being some hoes and hurting my heart aside one thing the first game did really well with both taskmaster and Scoogleball was that they had variety in their challenges yeah, everyone clowns on them for sucking, because the combo ones were easily the best ones, but I did appreciate the variety they had in their various challenges, whether they be stealth, bomb, drone, etc. Whereas in this game, all that is gone and replaced with pretty much entirely combat, with the only stealth you get being for the hunter blinds slash bases and the flame mission. Mind you, the stealth for these is completely optional. The main focus for them is combat. The focus on just combat results in the side content getting staler a lot faster than the first game did. Another thing this game downgrades are vehicle crimes, because while yes, they are a lot better looking in the f than the first game, the first game's vehicle missions are far more interactive than this game. I also really miss the suit powers from the first game. Yeah, I know they were played with the suit techs and suit tech fusions, but honestly, the suit powers were so much more fun. Also, being able to mix and match the suits with the different powers was so much better. I hope they bring back the suit powers in some way in the next game. 
that's all there really is to talk about with the new game plus update though the new game plus update adds a lot of new detail and content many of it should have been there from the start especially with this being their third game but sadly it isn't all sunshine and rainbows as the game is also it's still incredibly buggy and glitchy hell this game literally had me punching the air at one point not all the content added to the game is amazing, but the vast majority of it is. But for all intents and purposes, I have zero reason to go back to this game. Especially because there are other Spider-Man games I enjoy way more than this one. Like Edge of Time, Shattered Dimensions, and Ultimate Spider-Man. And with better Spider-Man games out there, despite how fun the combat and stuff is in this game, I'm probably never going to touch it again now until DLC comes out for the game. And God knows when that'll be. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm glad I could finally get my thoughts on the new game plus for Spider-Man 2 out. This update was a lot of fun, but like I said in the video, I'm probably not going to touch the game for a while because now I have nothing to do in the game. But yeah, <laughs> I did really like the game. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing it. I'm also glad to really be back making videos for you guys again. So stick around. I've got a lot of content coming your ways, coming right at you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just still wasting time now. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But if you didn't, you can tell me how much I suck about the YouTuber and the VTuber in the comment section down below. Peace out and enjoy yourself.